Hi, I'm Aaron Lockhart, Course Architect for CodeCloud, and today we're going to talk about the differences between the Linux Foundation Certified System Administrator and Red Hat Certified System Administrator certifications. If you're looking at getting certified as a Linux System Administrator, you might be wondering about the differences between these two certifications and which one might be right for you. We'll go over the differences between the two and help you decide. We'll also give some suggestions on where to go next and point you toward CodeCloud's resources designed to help you prepare for either of these certifications. The Linux Foundation has designed their Certified System Administrator, or LFCS, exam to cover the core areas of knowledge and develop the skills that successful Linux system administrators need. The exam is a hands-on, practical exam, meaning you'll be given a set of tasks that a real-world system administrator could see on the job, and you'll be expected to solve them just like a real-world system administrator. The exam covers six domains of knowledge. Essential commands, operation of running systems, user and group management, networking, service configuration, and storage management. The LFCS exam is what we might call vendor neutral in that the concepts it covers are broadly applicable to all Linux systems, regardless of the distribution. The exam currently supports CentOS Stream and Ubuntu, allowing you to choose the environment you're more comfortable with. Red Hat Certified System Administrator, or RHCSA, focuses specifically on Red Hat Enterprise Linux and tests system administration knowledge across a wide range of environments and deployment scenarios. The RHCSA exam is the foundation for Red Hat's professional certification path, allowing you to add Red Hat Certified Engineer and Red Hat Certified Architect certifications after RHCSA. The exam is also performance-based, so you'll be performing tasks and solving problems like a real-world system administrator would. The certification focuses on skills and technologies that are useful in enterprise environments, large-scale corporations, and projects with complex needs. An example of enterprise-level skills covered in the RHCSA would be advanced storage techniques like layered storage using Stratus and disk compression using Virtual Data Optimizer. The RHCSA exam is divided into 10 domains of knowledge. Essential tools, create simple shell scripts, Operation of running systems, configure local storage, create and configure file systems, deploy, configure, and maintain systems, manage basic networking, manage users and groups, manage security, and manage containers. And the RHCSA exam is specific to Red Hat's Enterprise Linux distribution, so in addition to broadly applicable skills common to all Linux systems, the exam covers skills and procedures that are found in the RHEL product. Since both exams rely on skills that are fundamental to all Linux systems, there is a significant amount of overlap in what the exams cover. For instance, if you were to complete CodeCloud's LFCS preparation course, you would have already covered over 70% of the information necessary to complete CodeCloud's RHCSA preparation course. With both exams being hands-on, practical exams, you'll need to have plenty of practice putting the concepts you learn into action. This is an area where CodeCloud's courses for LFCS and RHCSA can really help you. Both offer access to hands-on labs that you can access straight from your browser, which will give you the opportunity to get all the practice you need to be successful on the certification exams. Both courses also offer mock exams to let you further test your abilities. So in summary, for LFCS, it allows CentOS or Ubuntu test environments. It's available remotely, meaning you can take it from home or any other suitable environment. It's a two-hour monitored exam where a proctor will monitor you and your testing environment. It does require a special browser to be installed on your computer. And as of this recording, it currently costs $395 US dollars to take. As for RHCSA, the only environment is Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And the exam is available at Red Hat designated testing facilities, but it may be taken remotely 
but that option is not necessarily available in all locations. So you may have to go in person depending on where you live. Remote tests require preparing and booting from a special live USB Linux distribution, and not all hardware may be compatible, so that's a consideration that you might want to take. It's a three-hour monitored and proctored exam where your, you and your testing environment will be monitored, and as of this recording, it currently costs $400 US to take the exam. Things that both exams have in common are that they both cover topics applicable to all Linux systems. Uh, they both focus on real-world skills that system administrators need to be successful. They're both hands-on, practical tests of your abilities. And they both require a significant amount of study or experience to be successful. They're both going to provide you with respected certifications that can help you advance your knowledge and career. And they're both currently valid for three years when you get the certification. Figuring out which certification is right for you depends on your goals and reasons for wanting to get certified. And thankfully, both certifications are well respected and teach valuable skills, so there isn't necessarily a wrong answer. But asking yourself these questions might help you decide which is best for you right now. Why do I want to get certified? What type of environment do I work in or want to work in? And what other certifications might I want to pursue in the future? If you want to get certified in Linux and plan to grow your list of certifications and specialized Linux knowledge, you might want to start with RHCSA. If you want to get certified just to learn Linux or challenge yourself or help yourself stand out in the job market, or if you're not looking to work in an enterprise environment where Red Hat Enterprise Linux is used heavily, the LFCS certification is a great choice. That last part leads us to the next question of where you work or where you want to work. If the work environment is primarily CentOS or Ubuntu and doesn't have the specific demands of enterprise level scalability, LFCS is the ideal choice. If your environment is an enterprise level environment, or is dominated by Red Hat Enterprise Linux, RHCSA is the better choice. And lastly, both certifications can serve as the basis for acquiring further certification. The Linux Foundation offers a variety of DevOps-related certifications in other technologies such as Kubernetes, Node.js, and Site Reliability, and is always working to bring more certifications that are relevant to today's workplace. Having a firm foundation in Linux, such as by obtaining the LFCS certification, is a great way to start preparing for a DevOps career. Red Hat has its own certification path, which starts with RHCSA. If you're looking to get into enterprise-level automation, the next level Red Hat Certified Engineer, or RHCE, is your next logical step. There's also the Red Hat Certified Architect certification, which allows you to choose five more Red Hat specialized certifications to add to the RHCE and allows flexibility in terms of which certifications you might choose for your specialty. And whether you choose LFCS or RHCSA, CodeCloud has resources to help you prepare. The courses both include lectures and demonstration videos to help you learn concepts labs with real-time feedback to allow you to practice, and mock exams that let you test yourself to make sure you're ready for your exam. CodeCloud also has a learning community, including forums and Slack chat to discuss concepts and get extra help if needed. To find out more about CodeCloud's courses, you can check out our Linux learning path at this URL. This has been Aaron Lockhart for CodeCloud. I hope this helps you start your Linux certification journey, and I look forward to seeing you in our lectures over at CodeCloud.